Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my dystopian props for my sci-fi short film with no budget. In my short film Seven Sunsets, the main character has been living out of his car for nearly a decade on an apocalyptic earth. So I knew I had to create a bunch of rusty old materials for him to be interacting with. Food cans, glass bottles, and a couple of my key props needed to be really rugged and dirty looking. The first place to hit when you are looking for dystopian props is your recycling. So I basically collected a lot of recycling for a month, bean cans, milk cartons, cardboard boxes, and I put them in a box away until I was ready to officially dirty them up for my short film. Ask your friends and family if they own anything that you could potentially use in your short film. The big key prop that we used in my short film was my friend Olivia's white sedan and it became our main character's apocalyptic vehicle that I dirtied up. We knew we didn't want to use our car because our car is a little too nice and I wanted something that had already been kind of beat up and her car has some scratches and some dents and then I just dirtied it up some more to make it look super beat up. Thrift. Thrifting is one of my favorite things to do in my downtime anyway. Combining that with looking for props is so much fun and it's kind of a gamble. You don't really know what you're going to get, but I will show you a few of the things that I got for my film by thrifting. Being an independent filmmaker, luckily you have the flexibility to change things in your film. One of the car scenes in my film was originally supposed to be day, but I changed it to night so I could use this lantern that I thrifted. I just thought it would be a really cool element. I was also able to thrift some of my key props, which included these notebooks that I then dirtied up. So I definitely recommend thrifting because you can find cheap, cool props. Who knows, you might find a, a cool little lantern like I did and then have to include it into your film. So now the how to dirty our props up. Dirt. I use dirt on I think every single prop I have and on my costume design. So I took some dirt from plants that have died in my home or from my front yard. I've smeared it into the clothes, onto the backpack, and in some of my paper props as well. All I used to transform that white sedan into an old apocalyptic looking car was good old fashioned dirt and water. And all I can say is that day people gave us the weirdest looks. Some thought we went off-roading with it. One other person said that it looked like it had been dug out of a river. But truly, you guys, dirt and water are your best friend when you are trying to dirty up props for a apocalyptic film. <laughs> Soaking some tea bags and just scrubbing it into paper really gives off this aged effect where it wrinkles the paper but then also stains it. I have two key props that I needed to age significantly a cheap way to age paper effectively. My greatest asset for dirtying up nearly every prop besides the dirt, brown acrylic paint. And I used sponge brushes and I just dabbed like crazy to give it that flaky texture of rust. To give it that extra dirty look, while the paint was drying, I would take a pinch of real dirt from my plant pots and sprinkle it on so it had real dirt on it and it looked, it looked super real. Last but not least, sandpaper or a sand block that I have here. I used to rub on my costume design slash on some of my props to give it more texture, more scratches. And that's it. This will be a mini series on my channel of everything that went into making my sci-fi film with 
no budget and how you can do the same. Thank you for watching this video, you guys. Subscribe for more indie filmmaking content. I'm going to be posting once a week now. That is my new hustle mentality. I'm Katie Joy Films, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.